Welcome! Today in this Lightroom Quick Edit I'm gonna take this raw file and turn it into a picture like this while of course explaining to you every adjustment I do. First thing I'm gonna do here is just crop away that shield right here. This was shot in a tropical forest in Zurich, Switzerland. There's like a zoo with a special hall with tropical plants and everything. But anyways, the exposure definitely is too dark so I'm gonna raise that quite a bit by a full stop and if I enable the highlight warning we do have some clipped highlights way there in the background but I really don't care even about them I mean they don't really have any details anyways so I'm just gonna ignore those highlights in the very background there so let's do raise the shadows here bring down the highlights by about half and bring up the whites of course to get a little bit more dynamic once again I really don't care about those highlights in the background and the blacks I actually don't think I'm gonna lower the blacks here in this photo let's see contrast I might bring up the contrast a little bit but also bring down the blacks yeah that definitely works a bit better clarity I mean clarity I think is fine how it is and of course color temperature so let's just see I think I'm gonna bring it down just a notch so we have a little bit more blue tones and it's a little bit less warm so that looks pretty good let's uh, last slider here would be vibrant and I might even bring that up a little bit and then down to the tonal curve because we really don't have any bright spots I want to enhance we really just have these very bright parts of the sky in the background I'm actually gonna leave out the highlight slider I really think this is one of my very very few pictures where I don't mess around with the highlight slider but the other sliders I'm still gonna play with maybe bringing up the lights a little bit and the darks Actually, I kind of want to make the whole foreground a little bit brighter and bring up the shadows a little bit there. I don't want to bring the actual shadow slider up because that really makes everything look way too flat. But I think that looks pretty good. So, because this is a 5 minute quick edit, I'm not going to do any other global adjustments. But I'm just going to grab an adjustment brush here, be sure that the feather is at 100 as always when I do these kinds of adjustments. And I'm just going to raise the exposure as well as the shadows and just paint over some parts here. Now I guess you could call this dodge and burning, but I really kind of want to make the whole scene a bit brighter or at least uh, some large parts whereas I'm adding dodge and burning I usually just want to make some uh, very small parts very bright so I think that looks a bit better before after but now I still want to add some dodge and burning with the ra radio filter here but this time I'm just gonna go down in the exposure and just make some very small filters to get kind of give some contrast back and some differentiation between light and dark so maybe here another one bit of plus uh, contrast here right click duplicate another one right here and for this palm tree right there I'm gonna make a pretty big one that looks pretty good I think I'm almost done actually a thing that I wanted to add in global adjustments is down here at the effects just a little bit of vignetting just something like that and I think that works pretty well but it still is a little bit too even so let me grab a graduated filter just drag one over the top and make the whole top of the image even a little bit brighter just a hint and I'm gonna grab yet another graduated filter just for the foreground and make that one darker as well as increasing the clarity right here so that way we get the sense of depth for the whole picture and I'm gonna grab yet another one 
kind of a harsh one just for the very bottom now and even drop down the exposure even more. So here would be before any graduated filters and here is after. So it really just gives a sense of depth and dynamic in the picture. Actually one thing that I've just noticed, I really think the picture is still a little bit too even. So I'm just gonna grab yet another graduated filter and just bring it over the pretty much entire right part of the image and bring down the exposure here again and do the same thing with the left part. So that way I really just want to add some additional vignetting and really try to get the viewer's eye in the picture and really contain it there. As always, let's see the before right here. I mean, it really was a snapshot, you know, this is what these five minute quick edits are for. And this is after. I mean, it's a pretty decent difference, pretty okay picture at the end. Definitely nothing I would hang on my wall, but definitely better than before. If you would like to see more videos just like this one, be sure to subscribe. And I want to wish you a great day. And of course, take care.